Yo, what's good? It's your boy Jason here, back with another episode of Heart and Soul Sneaker Vlog. I know it's been a minute since my last episode, so so you guys don't have to wait any longer. Let's go ahead and get it in. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. Back in the days when I was young, I'm not a kid anymore. But some days I sit and wish I was a kid again. Back in the day. Alright, so if you've checked out my Twitter, then you know. It's been a minute since I posted a video because I've been moving out of my my last apartment. So I'm back home, so my set looks a little different. But it's all good, it's all cool, still got all my kicks here. And while I was going through, you know, packing all my stuff, I started reminiscing about some of my kicks and how I got them and things like that. That's why I don't like selling my sneakers because every sneaker got its own personal story for me. So I just want to go ahead and explain, you know, some of, the, some of my sneakers to you guys that I thought was real cool. Um, the first pair I want to talk about are the Pine Green Phone Posit Pros. This was like my first introduction to resellers. Um, I wanted them real bad. This was like before like all of the Phone Posit craze, but it was still like people were still pretty hyped up about these. So I went to the mall and got them. Like, well, I went to the mall trying to get them, but um, they were all sold out everywhere. And this guy that worked at Detail Law was like, "Yo, I got a size 10." And I'll go ahead and you know, I'll sell them to you for 250 And I think at this time they were retailing for like 200 And I was wearing a size 9 maybe. So I was like, dang, I don't know if I should get a size 10. Or pay that extra, you know, 50 bucks. But I went and did it. And I'm, I'm proud I did it. You know, this is actually like one of my favorite phone posits now. You know, out of my collection. So, you know, I definitely don't regret spending that extra money. Especially now that that's the regular retail price for them. So I was already paying that two fifty before they were two fifty. So I thought that was real cool. Um, next pair I really want, I want to talk about was the Hair Jordan ones. These came out uh, as like an Easter, you know, for Easter one year. Got the like the sevens, the you know zigzag pattern that's on the sevens right there on the tongue. You know, because, like, that's where the whole Bugs Bunny theme really comes from. So, they got the same colors that's on, like, the, um, you know, the hair, hair sevens. Got the gray suede with the white leather. And, um, you know, I just thought the shoe was real cool. And, you know, it's pretty, I thought it was pretty rare and everything. So, I thought it was real cool. And, um, I actually bought the shirt to match. So, you know, got the shirt with the Bugs Bunny doing the jump man on it. And like this shirt is a large and it barely fits me now. So imagine me wearing this when I was like in ninth grade, I think I was. Like it was crazy big on me. Um next thing I want to talk about was the metallic fives. Like this is probably like my favorite five retro that I have that I've you know that I've seen come out, you know, since I've been in the you know, into collecting sneakers. And like the funny story about these was, I skipped work to get them. Like they were they were still there. It was like middle of the day. I had to work at like twelve o'clock, and I went. I was like two hours late to work because I drove to the mall and got them. And I was straight up with my, with my manager. At all. I was like, you know, I went to the mall and I didn't think it was gonna take that long. And she was like, well, whatever. So I guess it helps to be a good employee, but. I was so happy I got them. Ran into the mall. Guy asked me if I wanted to try them on. I was like, Nah, I'm good. I just want them nine and a half. So, yeah. I never forget that first pair of sneakers that I really like. Had to like strive to get for. Like I had to do something crazy to get. And then um, yeah. Last thing I want to talk about. Last pair of kicks I want to talk about is the Varsity Red Sixes. I know they got the infrareds that are rumors to come out for Black Friday this year, but um, it's the Varsity Red. They came out in like oh eight, I believe. Not sure, but um, matter of fact, this is actually the first pair of sneakers that I really had to do something crazy for. But it wasn't like as far as like getting them to the like go going to the store and getting them or anything like that. It was just the crazy part was me getting the money for them. Cause when these came out, I just started getting into sneakers and I didn't really have 
a stable income or anything like that. You know, I was real young, and um, I think these were like the retail price was one sixty for Jordans then. So like one sixty for me at that time was a lot. So I had like sixty dollars, and then like the day before they came out, my grandma wanted me to do some work for her, and I worked all day for her, and she ended up giving me like over a hundred dollars. So I had like just enough to get the sneakers, get my brother gas money, and all of that. So. That was cool, you know, they, they still look pretty good too. Like that's one thing I could definitely say, like I could definitely see that, that the quality decreased since, you know, when I first started collecting sneakers. Like as old as these are, they're still in pretty good condition. The suede isn't really faded. You know, it's a little, there's a little dingy, little scuff marks every now and then. Got paint chipping right there. Uh, the soles are yellow, but you know, I, I actually like the yellow soles. Especially on these sixes, like you know, it just makes them look real, real classic. But um, you know, I could talk about all my sneakers, but um, you know, these are just the ones that kind of mean mean the most to me. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all. You know, I just wanted to, to share my reminiscing with you guys a little bit. You know, hopefully soon I'll try and pick up something new or something like that. But um. Hey, there's a lot of new things coming out, you know, definitely, like, the, the summer's looking real good, so, um, yeah, if you guys like the video, go ahead, and kill that like button for me, and, um, subscribe, share, comment, everything, let me know, let me know, you know, some crazy, some cool sneaker stories that you guys got, or anything like that, you know, let me know some of your favorite kicks, and how you got them, and stuff like that, and I'm always, always down to hear cool sneaker stories, so, See you guys on the next episode.